Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends. Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you're all fit and well. Back with a light-hearted look at the news from all over Thailand and Southeast Asia. So let's jump in and see what we have for you today. We have uh, go-go dancers in Walking Street in Pattaya bar complaining to police that they were not being paid at all. The lights are on, but there's no one home. Villagers report police station with no police. I think that's very important to have police in a police station. Sidewalk at riding motorcycle taxi drivers may face a three-year ban. Bangkok airports at taxi drivers protest over ride-sharing app. Thailand has six months to discuss GSP with the USA. A look at unidentified flying objects in Thailand. But first up, flash flooding in Phuket has caused chaos. So if you're travelling to Phuket on holidays, don't forget to take your raincoat and a very small carry-on boat. And this just in, flash flooding brought traffic to a standstill across the island of Phuket in Thailand. The rain is just coming down in bucket loads and causing chaos all over the island. The rain which began late last night has not stopped and was pouring down during rush hour this morning, causing very bad traffic jams across the whole of the island. There has been reports of flash flooding across the entire island, backed by strong winds and thunderstorms. Many people are stuck where they work and can't get home, so they may have to spend the night sleeping where they work. The government has stated they are 100% ready for any flash floodings this year. So if you're heading for Phuket, get ready to get wet. Might be a real good idea to take a raincoat with you. Pattaya go-go dancers take their complaints to the police. Go-go dancers from Walking Street to Pattaya that their foreign employer had owed the girls 400,000 Thai baht in unpaid wages. Their representative, a 29-year-old woman who identified herself as Gift, said that they had started working at the go-go bar around the 14th of October and their employer promised to pay them every 10 days. Their first payment was delayed and when they were promised a late payment, that was also delayed and the girls had found they could no longer contact their employee. Each go-go dancer was contracted to receive a daily wage of 1,200 baht a day. Gift was quoted as saying, All of us have worked hard. We must dance in high heels for seven to eight hours a day. We all need to send money to parents and children, pay room rent and cover our personal expenses. Miss Gift was quoted as saying, the police accepted their complaint and advised the woman to also file it with the Provincial Labor Office. Poor girls, could you imagine wearing high heels for seven, eight hours, guys? A day? Well, some of yous do. <laughs> Patantani Police Chief has ordered an investigation into a police station in the province after reports that no officer were on duty late at night. Villagers in the Patantani province are complaining about the Klong Long police station after many of them went to file reports during the night but there was no police officer at the station. Many of the villagers ended up sleeping at the police station as a way of passing the time while they waited for the officers to come in. An administration official also came in to deliver a suspect connected to a drug case with the police but there was no officer at the station to accept the suspect. Yes, administrative officers from the department of Provincial Administration, DOPA, came in to deliver a suspect related to a drug case. The suspect was also arrested because he was on drugs, driving a vehicle on the road. There were no officers at the station to accept the suspect. The administrative officials called police colonel from his name and number on the police station door. No one answered the call, so they had to call 191 instead. Finally, at around 4 a.m., the police officers started to arrive, and they stated that there was a police officer at the station all the time, accepting reports. When the administration officials arrived, they had a miscommunication with the invisible policeman. The person sleeping in front of the police station came to the station at 1am because he was lost. The police delivered him back home early in the morning. A relative of the drug case suspect stated that 
When he came to bail out his relative, he saw a police officer walking inside the station. I don't know, it seems like they're trying to cover up something here. Like someone was sleeping on company time. Anyway, one of the administration officers later confirmed that he had miscommunicated with the officer inside the station. That is why he's being filmed saying, Not a single soul is here! The video was then sent to other officials as a joke, and he had no idea how the video was leaked out into the public. And the official confirms that there was an officer working at the police station during such time. But he was really small and nobody could see him. If this article doesn't make sense to you, don't feel alone. I don't know what it's about either. Motorcycle taxi drivers who repeatedly ride on Bangkok sidewalks could have their queue jackets confiscated for up to three years. This new law is under proposal being considered by the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration. Police Captain Pong Sakon has stated, Every option will be taken into consideration. We want to know whether the people agree with the policy or not, and of course what their suggestions are. This is for the orderliness of Bangkok, he said. And his team also invited motorcycle taxi drivers in the Tonglo area to voice their opinion. Police Captain Pong Sakon said the three-year ban was just an idea and still had to be thought through. The city needs to ensure fairness and the committee may not agree to something so drastic. Oh, isn't this interesting? Since July 9th last year, BMA officials have arrested 24,337 motorcyclists for pavement riding. The city collected between 17 million Thai baht in fines. So if you're in Thailand and hiring a motorbike, not a good idea to ride on the pavements. So Winnipeg Airport taxi drivers have threatened to withdraw some services starting on November the 1st in protest against what they say is the government's failure to ensure fair competition once app-based ride services are legalised. Transport Ministry is preparing to legalise apps-based services such as Grab by March, according to a post on social media on Thursday. As a result, taxi drivers at Sawunapum Airport plan to protest by limiting the number of bags they will take. Passengers with more bags would have to call another taxi for services for their extra bags. President of the Thai Public Taxi Association quoted as saying, adding the symbolic impression would start on November the 1st. The Transport Department has not contacted their representatives to invite their input, he said. He also asked the government to require app-based drivers to pick up passengers via an app request only and prohibit them from waiting for passengers at the airport or bus terminals. Taxi fares have been frozen for six years and drivers also want the government to extend the service time of metered taxis from nine years to 12 years, he added. Taxi drivers plan to rally at the Transport Ministry on November the 7th, so there may be some disruptions as you're arriving in Bangkok from Seminapum Airport. Thailand has six months to discuss GSP with the United States. Thai authorities still have six months to discuss the US decision to suspend tariffs, exemptions for the Thai export under its generalized of preferences, according to Thailand's Prime Minister Prayat. The PM stated that the US has also for other countries as well as Thailand. Thailand has enjoyed GSP privileges for now nine years and Washington might think it's time for a suspension. GSP will be suspended in Thailand from April 2020. The TNA reports that as the US has cited labor issues in its reasons, Prayat says the government will do everything it can to solve the issue. Be assured the government will try its best. We respect their rules. It's useless to panic or blame one another. He also noted that the suspension covers 571 Thai export items, but in fact Thailand exports only about 300 items to the US. 
Six months remain and Tottenham will find ways to negotiate. And if we are unsuccessful, we will accept it because it's their law. He also stated, do not make criticism that will worsen the situation. Relationships between Thailand and the US remain good and the US is an important trading partner with Thailand, the PM also said. Hi there, it's Mark reporting for Talkback Thailand and now for something really completely different. Beam me up from Khao Kala's Buddhist statue. The UFOs come to Thailand along with little green men. Just north of Bangkok in Nakhon Sawan, an unlikely not very tall hill with a Buddhist statue atop is attracting throngs of UFO seekers. They believe the extraterrestrials hover over the statue, send telepathic messages, walk around the local sugarcane fields and use conveniently crocodile infested lake as a Stargate style portal to travel through from their planets. The planets in case you were wondering are Pluto recently officially demoted as a planet in our solar system and Loku. Not sure about this one. If language currency and immigration procedures may be a alien to the visitors. Well, will they be able to do a TM-30 or a TM-28? I do not know. Their believers claim the visitors are Buddhists, uh, staring a starting point of sorts. According to CNN, all this happens around three hours north of the Thai capital. If you get to Khao La Kala Hill, just outside Nakhon Sawan, you will be able to join with others who claim that they can talk to the aliens. Uh, okay. Who claim that can talk to the aliens whilst meditating apparently in your own language. The alien's choice of Khao Kala is unusual because it's the smallest among the cluster of the higher hills. Meditators say they are thankful they don't have to climb a very high mountain to reach to the top. Everything else is apparently unpredictable as the aliens may start or stop speaking at any moment. Could also appear spontaneously and then disappear after a few hours. So far, these appearances have not been at the convenient time for everyone's smartphone to be captured at that moment. The group are all quite earnest about the whole matter and have their own evidence and even a logo. 